Hey, hey everyone. everyone. I'm Christy. And I'm Marie, and we've been dating for two years now. We started dating when we were 15 years old, but had to separate due to just life circumstances. You mean you wanted to just break up with me? Let's keep it real. Yeah. Anywho, fast forward eight years, I slid into his comments on Instagram, Ray DM'd me, and we've been together ever since. We have traveled to five states, two countries, in addition to frequent dates, showing up for life accomplishments, and just hanging out. We will upload vlogs to share our experiences and highlight the joys of being a beautiful young black couple. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Good morning. The time is um, 5.59 a.m. Today is what? May 29th, I believe. May 30th. It's actually May 30th. And my boyfriend and I are going camping. <laughs> We've been putting this for like three weeks now and I can't believe it's actually, like, the day. But, yeah, I have to get up. I have to clean my room, do last-minute laundry, last-minute packing, um, and just prepare myself, you know, and make sure that we're good uh, for this weekend. It's going to be awesome. All right. Hey everybody, so I, you know, did my whole shower, I did the laundry, I did, I finished packing, I packed up the food and everything, and so now I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to get here, so we can hit the road, I'm so excited, alright, check in with y'all later. The ride up to the Catskills wasn't bad. It took about three hours, but the views were gorgeous. When we got to our site, we walked into what we thought was the office, and after about 20 minutes, these two white men rode up in a golf cart, looking concerned. They questioned us, and we were redirected to the actual check-in location. And y'all, that girl told us we were at the wrong campsite! I called the number and got everything handled, thank God. 20 minutes later... But this? Gave me bad vibes. But the hosts were awesome and the campsite was perfect. So we set up camp. checked in we went to the wrong place then we got here and checked in uh we set up our tent <laughs> and i realized and we blew up our bed and i realized i forgot the daggone sheets at home <laughs> so now we have to go first of all we have to buy some firewood from the store and we have to get some sheets and pillowcases so i have pillowcases 
Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just cheats then. Look at Ray coming to the rescue. He forgot nothing, okay? <laughs> My man forgot nothing. Me? <laughs> forgot everything. They said go the other way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unless no, this is somebody's campsite, man. Yeah. It might be this. That way. One way. Yeah. Babe. Look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even doing this with you tonight. <laughs> and that's just the story. So I'll, sh- I'll talk to y'all when we at least cooking. <laughs> Dag Navit. We still have to make dinner. Yeah. But all right. It began to rain, so we headed into the tent really early. Watched movies, talk, slept on and off all night. It was perfect. We woke up early and talked for hours until it was time to eat and start our day. Okay, guys. So, it's the next day. We had breakfast. We um, cleaned up camp or whatever. And now we're about to go on a hike and... We just gonna see how it goes. We're at the uh, trout pond yeah. slash mud pond uh, hike or whatever, and it's supposed to be that one is like 1.2 miles and the other one is like five or seven. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we'll take great pictures. We're gonna have a picnic and it's gonna be great. Right? Yes. All right. Bye. <laughs> So black people can camp. We're making this no. We're quarantining, social distancing, and the summer is gonna be filled with trails and camping and s'mores. Okay, y'all, this is our tent tour. We have our blanket section over here with flan- uh, flannel, my laptop Lots. for our movies. My books. Uh, we have books to read, some poems. We're currently sitting on an air mattress that we bought off of Amazon. We'll put the link below. And also a double sleeping bag for two people, which is actually pretty warm and comfortable. It's really warm. Yeah. 
And uh -huh. then this is my little pouch, and it has my thick socks for nighttime, and it also has my headscarf, because y'all know. And I have my own Lucy light for if I have to use the bathroom. Yeah, we have another one up here. Yeah. And then in that corner over here, we, we have the Wonder Boom. And then under that, what do we have? We have our bathroom caddy, basically, and it has like detergent, toilet paper, white wipes, and the ear cleaners, Q-tips. Okay. Gotcha. And then we have our chips because we're playing a game right now. Yeah, we're playing Phase 10. Yeah. Check out the game. It's actually a pretty new game. And... And then over here... Ray's books. Yeah. Our Ray's books. And then we have our jackets over there. I have my hoodie over here. And then this is the door right here. <laughs> And this tent has some ventilation at the top here. Also on the door. And on this side. And also on this side too. It's actually a pretty small tent. It's <laughs> made for two people. But... So they say, but it's really made for one person. And that's just what that is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we slept really comfortably. We like to be up all each other when we go to sleep anyway. So Yeah. So that's basically the tent tour. All right, Joel. For the last night, we stayed outside our tent until almost 12 a.m. We roasted marshmallows, which by the way, was the first time I had marshmallows. The gooey goodness of the white marshmallow with the chocolate and the graham crackers. Who didn't tell me about this before? Yeah, that, it was so good. Uh, we listened to music while we ate marshmallows and talked and we watched the stars. It was really cool. We then cleaned and then went to bed. But this night was so cold. I thought I was gonna freeze. I slept in two pairs of socks, leggings, my flannel pajamas, a long sleeve shirt, my flannel top, my hoodie with the hood on, and still needed Ray to sleep practically on top of me just to be comfortable. We thankfully learned how to zip up the hood to our sleeping bag, and that helped a lot. My girl was a boogie with the hoodie with the hood on. Overall, it was a good weekend. This trip was definitely an unexpected one, but a very good one. We love being able to disconnect and recharge and just be in nature. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.